Good day, everyone. Today I'm going to present you a, um, I would say, almost final project that I made. Uh, if you look back in my video, you would see this actual board, which is the um, mic ranking uh, sell those on Tindy. It's the sensor board. And what I did is inside this box, uh, there's a nice casing and there's a battery. And there's also, right here, uh, there's a 3-axis magnetometer, which is technically a digital compass. So what I did is... Uh, well, I was running low on memory and I was afraid that I would run actually out of memory. So I disabled the temperature sensor from the board. I just didn't load the um, library for it. And I added the library for the magnetometer. And this is actually the uh, final look of it. Uh, note that these screws are brass. They are not steel because it will affect the uh, magnetometer. And then I have it just plugged in so we can actually see that it's charging right now. And, well, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the new feature that I added to it. Let it load. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the menu here, but... Uh, the first is game. Then the other one I haven't changed, it's the time, and then I have the compass, and accelerometer, it's just a little display, and bar barometer and temperature, because it has a barometer, uh, barometric sensor on it, and the sensor has a built-in temperature sensing. But it's not really accurate, because um, the, uh, the little uh, 80 mega processor tends to warm up a little bit, so it warms up the whole circuit and it throws off the temperature by a few degrees. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, re-explain uh, all the feature. The game is just, uh, basically, I, I made a little uh, game with the accelerometer, so you just have to get it in the little circle, and as the point goes up, the game will actually becomes harder and harder. Then, time screen, well, there's nothing, nothing new about this, it's just a clock displays the time and then the compass well as you can see I'll try to focus better on here there we go uh, there's a little circle that moves on uh, on the left and this actually tells me if the board is leveled or not and then you can actually see um, all the lovely data and as you can see, there's actually a, uh, I add a declination function because I might actually use it for uh, actual purposes because it looks uh, pretty accurate. So I'll have to test it with an actual real compass to see uh, which, where is off. And uh, I'm still in uh, adjusting, make sure the board is properly level because if you just move it a little bit, as you can see, it actually throws off everything. And of course, if you bring anything metallic, you throw just simply everything off. But uh, as for now, it's actually a nice little standalone uh, unit. And then um, if we go into the accelerometer, it's just a little uh, fun that I did. If you shake it, the circle goes bigger. No big deal. And then the barometric uh, sensor, it does take a few uh, seconds to load because I figure, I found out that the, um, the sensor was giving lots of uh, bouncing value. So what I did is I took 500 measurement and then I just do the average for each and I get uh, a much stable, much uh, constant value as you can see. And there's the temperature here, which is 25, and it's actually not really 25 today. It's about actually like 18 in the house right now. And then you can see the pressure in kilopascal, and then the altitude in meter, which is relative to the, the pressure. So as I go up, it will change, and as well as the pressure will change during the day. This will vary a little bit, but it's a cool little uh, in indication. 
So uh, yeah, this is my final <laughs> version, I guess. And um, I'll see what else I can add to that little board because I I, th I think I have like 2k left in the memory, and then after that I'm overload. So we'll see. Thanks for watching.